Mansell, say hi. Number two loaded. So we're back from North Carolina. It's been um, well. We were back on Sunday. It's now Friday. I'm going out to unload the trucks. Um, we got a. I've got to unload the Bobcat to get the South Bend clutch off the trailer. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put a clip in of what happened with it right here and uh then I'll, I'll i'll show you the carnage um drivers drivers okay he got out say safety equipment did their job safety crew did their job it was it was over rather quick um i'm sure for him it, it took it was quite a bit longer than what it seemed and he got a little bit more of a tan This is actually the first time Mantillo's run on a fast track. He usually runs the hill in the hole. Here we go. Building turbo boost until it's black. Oh, shit. No, he isn't. No, he's, he's, out. he's out. He's out. He's out. He's, out. he's, out. he's, out. he's almost out. Holy yeah. shit, yeah. Yeah, he's coming out here. There he is. Oh, Well, on the upside, it stayed clean. Mine, not so much. But I made two passes through that pit. So I think I did pretty good. I think it was a quick enough run. Hell, you, most of my lug nuts are clean. You know, except for this side. But, so yeah. There's that. Now. That water bottle was put there in North Carolina. I cannot believe it stayed there the whole fucking way home. The whole way home, sorry. Um, somehow or another the engine turned over so see the big hole and it piston down under the piston was at the top now when it blew that out it blew it into the fuel cell and that is what created the major fireball also down here, the back of the block is cracked. It blew chunks out of the back. Um, it dented 
the firewall where it hit. You can see where the freeze plug hit. Um, uh, what else? I thought there was something else on it. Um, come to find out, uh, wasn't really anything anybody did wrong. It was basically just time. Uh, I think six or seven years this block has been in this and they've been running it like that. Uh, I don't necessarily see anymore. I thought he said there was a there was something on this side too, but I don't, I don't see anything down in there. So that's that's about it. As of right now, the future of the uh, Southland Clutch Smoking Reaper is unknown. So hopefully we'll it'll be out to live another day. But uh, it looks like there's a crack I can barely see my screen looks like there's a crack right there but I can't tell nothing nothing came out the bottom so I mean let's get another block and Put everything in the other block and go again, right? I don't think it's quite that easy. So there's an update on that. Then this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I put my runs up. I did not record any while we were there. Uh was trying to spend time with family it was a very busy very busy and kind of hectic weekend uh, so I didn't record while we were there I forgot to put the GoPro in the truck which I feel like I would add some really nice footage of that but uh yeah It'll go. So, anyways, on my second run, uh, it seemed to have uh, hit some sort of neutral. It seemed like it was transfer case. 
when I finally <laughs> when I finally got my lead foot off the pedal and it came down an idle I actually heard it grind back into gear I don't know what it was I don't know if it was transfer case I don't know if it was transmission um, I I ran high range down there because I didn't want to have to worry about trying to shift and it worked out stayed in first gear made passes made some really i think the second pass would have been faster but we'll never know because of the whole neutral mishap um i am so used to once you stop moving you you're, you're done so honestly i probably could have once i heard it kind of grind back into gear i probably could just stuck the throttle again and and went out and had a time uh wouldn't have been a good time but i would have had a time uh the, but instead i sat there and i waited they came down they took a measurement and while they were doing that i put the truck in low range truck drove out uh truck drove back on the trailer uh as far as i know the truck is good like We'll go through, we'll change plugs, we'll check the oil, get it cleaned up, and should be ready for the next one. Um, this truck is, is not meant to do what I did with it. Um, there's nothing special whatsoever about the suspension on this truck. It is a, it has six inch blocks in the rear on factory K5 Blazer leaf springs. The front is six inch springs from, I don't even remember where the, a tough country, rough country, whatever it was. Uh, but it's just springs. I, I can't complain for what this truck did. It was a 6.7 second pass. The truck weighs 4,300 pounds. It is probably at least two to 300 horse under what everybody else was there and the truck didn't nosedive off the jumps it, flew, it, it came off the jumps about as perfect as i could have asked for and it went straight for being a short wheelbase the first pass i did have to pedal because it did try pulling me to the wall um but i i still if everything would have went right i still i'm confident it would have been a low six second pass which is slow down there there's guys that run that pit. I think the record down there is a three something. And it, that, I mean, that's quick. But those guys have a lot, a lot of power. But that was North Carolina trip. And yeah. Lots of fun, lots of miles. 722 miles one way. Um, that's about it. That's, that's the update. Just got to get it cleaned up. Check it all out. Hopefully be good for the next one. Got to get the trailer cleaned off, take it back. But, uh, yeah. Again, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And there was a lot of people there, but definitely worth it. Will we go back? I don't know if I'll go back to race. I did what I wanted to do. I went down there to prove a point, prove that my truck can run. And I'm fairly confident I did exactly what I wanted to do. So, on to other stuff. At least one more bog here and start saving up money for rear end and transmission for the car and pretty much take this thing apart we'll at least rob the heart out of it um i think i'm gonna put an ls in it but i am in no hurry i'm kind of getting bored with mud so i still like the truck i still enjoy running it but it's not it's not as fun as it used to be and it's getting to be scarce again so Instead of letting 
all that money in that engine sit. I'm gonna put it in something we can have some fun in. And heck, I'll even I'll drive it every day, as long as I can afford the gas. But I was gonna about do it for this one. Till next time, same bat time, same bat channel. Well, let's see if it'll fire up one more.